What's up guys? I hope everyone is having an amazing day today. Basically, I'm going to be bringing you guys the last of the CJ collabs that I filmed at his house. We can always do more of them, so smash that like button if you enjoyed any of these collabs I've done. The Sneer Collection, the House Tour, this one, which I'm sure you guys will probably enjoy. Also guys, I just want to thank you guys. The growth lately has been absolutely insane. Look at this. This is crazy. We're almost at 300k. So, I'll t Oh, wait. I talked to JC about possibly doing this, and I think I'm going to do it. I have a haircut in like three hours from the time I'm posting this and if I have 300k subs by the time I get my hair cut I will like dye part of my hair I figure why not who cares I might do anyways I don't even know before we get into this video if you have not already first off just smash that subscribe button join the winning family join the winning team we are one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube lately we were literally six a couple days ago then like 50 the next day it's been crazy 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 also if you need any more incentive to subscribe hit the link in the top of the description down below to enter a $1,500 sneaker shopping spree giveaway which ends in a couple of days you'll get $1,500 to spend on any shoe you want I know a lot of you guys already know about that but for those of you who are new here, I had to tell you guys that before we get into the video. And now that I've said it, let's do this. Get into the video. Go! God damn, I was talking fast. But one thing I want to surprise him with is a pair of shoes that he's talked about in his vlogs. Like, he actually had them stolen from him. It is Flint 13s that I picked up from Royal One yesterday. It's another sneaker shop in Vegas. And basically, I'm going to be giving them to him today. I don't know what he's going to say, but like, hopefully, they're the right size and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure he's at 11 half 12, but I'm not 100%. Here we go. We got, I had to do it on camera. So, I got you some shoes. I know. I think I'm pretty sure you already have them, but like if you do have wait, them, wait, 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 wait. It's that gorilla pod. We never use our gorilla pod to stand up our camera. Oh, I see why. It's like it's like sliding on the like the Oh board. yeah, it's this granite top. Sorry. Oh. Low key broken. So basically like I was saying, like I Wait, wait, wait. I remember I was saying wait, wait, wait. Okay. Do I get to keep the bag? Cause notice the bag is supreme, guys. You know what I'm saying? I don't got that much supreme around here. Yeah, you can keep the bag. Hey! <laughs> I was waiting for him to say, actually, no, I need this back. No, I need this. I'm actually returning this. No, but you, know, you can keep it. But if you do have these, they're definitely beat up because they're from 2005. I do have uh, whatever you're saying then. Probably. You want that to box up? is giving me the chills right now. This box is very old, very retro, so you have to be very careful. And you already know, if you know me, I have to look before y'all can look, all right? No. So let me just take a peek. You know I could have just read it. Yeah. <laughs> Paper was in the rain, you know what I'm saying? I hate the, oh my God. Oh my God. These are my favorite number of Jordans. Who asked you? What about me? I'm just <laughs> This is literally my favorite number, and I'm not trying to be funny because royalty said that first. So, Blake, man, this is a W. You're taking a W with my books, guys. What I need you to do if you're watching my vlog right now is to go to his blog and spam W's for Blake bringing us over the best gift possible. I've only received two gifts in my new house. One was from my little brother Jinx. He gave me a hookah machine. Knowing I don't smoke hookah, and this, <laughs> and I do wear J's. So this is a W right here. Uh, let's make sure both of the shoes in here. You know, he might be trying to pull his first prank. <laughs> all right, all right, there we go. Hey, man, this is crazy, man. I'm super stoked it's about It's hard this. to find them like wearable, because a lot of times from 05, like that's what, like 12 years already? Yeah. Like, right here, they'll be kind of like weak, and you won't be able to wear them, but those are like good to wear, good to rock. I'm going to wear these, man, because if you know me, I do wear my sneakers. <laughs> it actually, it even came with a card, man, the card of authenticity. What the fuck? Authenticity. Huh? Man, these, these don't come with every shoe. You know, but I got a couple in my collection, you know, they came with some eights and all that. But I ain't here to bore y'all or none of that. So I'm glad that I got a chance to open this box of shoes up. I'm definitely going to cherish. And when you see me wearing this, know that I got them from Just Win or Blake or whatever you guys call him or whatever. Good things come to those who wait. And I'm glad that I waited because I was going to actually buy these off Black Club. And Thanks the bag. For them. <laughs> I get a Supreme bag. Wait, wait. Oh, see, I thought it was a Supreme. Never mind. Oh. I'm going to take you upstairs, man to where everybody wearing shoes must take them off, except me. Perfect, I already got the booties on. You got the booties on? I was just turning around to ask you, because I noticed you didn't take off your shoes right there. But the crazy thing is, I don't know how the lighting is, this is where my actual original uh, Flint 13s are. These mugs are very beat up. Excuse me right now, I usually don't take these shoes out from this side, so I didn't know how it would it would affect me, but I'm gonna come on over here to the good lighting side so you guys can see the difference in the shoes that he brought. All right, these are just like the ones he brought from 2005, except these are very worn by me. They got a lot of crease going on right there, so I'm very, very happy that he replaced mine because 
I don't like wearing creased shoes. Another thing, I have a lot of, uh, yeah, discoloration going on down here from cleaning it. Because basically, I like to clean my shoes when they get dirty. Because I don't like dirty shoes, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, ugh, look at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? That's definitely looking a lot different from the shoes he brought us. Um, so I'm very happy. These can probably become my best play shoes now. I can definitely see me hooping in these. Um, because they are cold and not too many people have these one or two not too many people that do have them are going to be playing basketball in them another thing is i took the plastic off my old ones i noticed your new ones had the plastic on i'm very happy about that um because from now on i won't be taking off any of the plastic you're gonna See? wear them with the plastic i will wear them with the plastic no i'm not gonna wear those the shoes you got me i'm not gonna wear those even though i wear all my shoes I feel like since I have a wearable pair that's already been worn, I should not destroy both pair. That would just be crazy. Because these, for uh, instance, which is crazy, they're 13. Uh, I'm about to go take you on this side of the room and show you something. Um, there they are right there. I'll just take this whole box down make it easier on myself. This, just like the box you gave me today, they came in the silver Jordan box. All right, These are old as hell. Look at the back. Look at how many times I had to clean them and no plastic. <laughs> the bottom is all beat out, worn. These mugs are old. These are older than those. I think these came out in like 2001 or two. I don't really remember, but these shoes have been worn out and I had to get the new ones, man, when they dropped. Look at that. This is, they look good to be this old, but they don't look good because yeah. they already recame out. So people will be thinking that mines are beat up. For instance, yeah, they yeah. will be like, Dude, you just got them and they already look like that? No, these are old as hell. So after I gave CJ the Jordans, which he really seemed to enjoy, and I actually saw him wearing them like two vlogs later, so shout out to CJ for doing that. Hope you really like those. After that, he showed me his car collection, which is super, super unique because he has stuff that not a lot of, blah, blah, not a lot of other people have. Just check it out. Guys, this right here is the tank, and this is only being shown because it's definitely a highlight of my house. It's uh, one of the reasons why I even moved. I only moved because I needed more room for my cars. Now I have a six car garage, and this is one of the cars. It's on 32 inch rims, super humongous. Um, I'm the only one in the city of Las Vegas and the state of Nevada, to my knowledge, to ride such rims. So uh, yeah, another W. These are called Dub Spinners. Guys, these are 28 inch rims. I built this car from the ground up. I bought it, it was raggedy, it was a piece of junk. It's in 1987, so you can imagine what it had been through, but I fully restored it. Everything is new now, and it is amazing. It's one of my favorite cars that I have. I even redid the interior with this uh, ultra leather. This stuff is super soft. Just go ahead and feel it for me, just feel it. Yeah, oh, that's I know. super dope. That's super soft, right? It doesn't belong in the old school, so I always show people. Like, look at this soft leather I have in this old car. Then we went back inside and just talked like off camera, hung out for a bit. And then my phone started ringing because I got a FaceTime call from someone who you guys will probably recognize, Go. Monday, the day after the pop-up, Monday, CJ, I'm coming over. I like that. I just told Blake, I promise him I'm coming to your pop-up too. So that's cool that you're coming to my crib after. Yeah, so yeah, you heard it here first, man. Yeah, that's why I saw you guys are together. I saw you guys are together, so I have to call you guys. And uh, yeah, come through Sunday, we're gonna have the pop-up. And then Monday, I'm gonna stay until like Monday night so we can link up and let's do like a 1v1 or a 2v2. And then that was it for the day. I pretty much drove home. CJ lives really far from where I live, so I was sat in traffic for pretty much the rest of that day. That was it for the collabs. I was excited. I was ready to edit all these for you guys. I've shown you now all four of them that we filmed that day, or at least that I filmed that day. Drop a like if you wanna see us do more collabs in the future. And with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow because I post every single day on this channel, or at least I try. I usually miss like an upload every week or so, but I, tr I try to do it. With that being said, tomorrow, when you guys see this, will be Monday. Get back at school, kill it. Get back at your job at work, kill it. Whatever you're doing, just do it with a smile, be happy, think about it. No matter how bad things might seem, you are blessed. I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, stay winning and make it happen, fam. Peace.